Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be about all the new settings in Fortnite with the NVIDIA Reflex, the Latency Markers, Latency Flash, and DLSS. I'm not going to focus on ray tracing in this video because it's only in DX12 and for the lowest latency you want to use DX11, but I'm going to make a video on ray tracing in DX12 since we have all these new cool features being able to test the input latency in my next video. But we do know that because you can't disable full screen optimizations that DX11 does have the lowest input delay, but you might be able to get higher frames in DX12. Looking at strictly FPS with these new features doesn't tell the whole story, so I want you guys to make sure you actually watch this video even though I'm going to post the FPS down in the description because you have to pay attention close to the latency in the top left of the screen because you'll see that when DLSS is on you actually get more latency even though you're technically having less strain on your GPU. Now this isn't going to be the same for everybody so I want you to check it yourself if you do have a low end system because I have a 2070 Super and an i7 9700K. So if you do have a very low system and you are struggling to get the FPS try turning DLSS on because it'll look better than just putting your 3D resolution at 50%. This video is also going to show FPS not only in creative, but on top of the agency in the middle of the map, just to show you guys what the stress of actually being in the game does to the FPS. So I'm not going to talk over the rest of this video, I'm just going to have titles over the screen of the FPS's for max and min. It's only going to be the up arrow though, not the down arrow. So feel free to slow down the video, pause a little bit, and check out the timings and stuff for yourself. 